Jesus. Wherever you are, I want you to join me in intercessions. Because we are entering into a week. This week and next week. Whereby the enemy is looking for blood over this nation. And specifically I'm seeing young men, youth. The enemy wants to terminate them for some reasons. And the Lord said to me, we need to intercept it in prayer. Why are they looking for young men blood? Because of the strength. Because of power. And for authority. You and I, we are going to intercept it. Let's, anyone looking for any blood to cause destructions, prematurely death on the youth of this nation, specifically in this house and in the body of Christ, by the power of the name of Jesus, let it be override and let it be intercepted. Say we refuse it. Say we refuse it. Anyone searching for blood, looking for blood, for power, for authority, let their own blood be swallowed. Be swallowed. Oh God, rescue the young man over these nations in the name of Jesus. As I pray, oh God, intervene. Just pray for me. Just pray with me. Just pray with me. Pray with me. If you have young men like children that goes sometime at night clubbing 
spare them from now until the election to pass why doing the roads that's the time there are going to be a lot of accidents rights after clubbings or on the way to clubs mark my words so advise your children i'm not stopping you to club but just until now election pass don't go out to club bring your friend home party at home but don't go out are we together because i'm seeing a party a party one of the party of the candidates the splitting the splitting because the leader started making wrong decisions strong decisions harsh decisions wrong decisions and it's brought confusion among them but before us to touch on that first we are intercepting accidents 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 let the spirit of accident be arrested accident prepared by the enemy smells of accidents in the roads whereby demons has been released on the road streets in order to cause accident complications confusion when men are driving by the power of the i am let that spirit be arrested say with me arrested 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 as we pray attack it Distractions. Let the death spirit be arrested. Jesus. 
Watch properly. You want to identify the winner and the loser. Watch out from this prayer until the election. Any confusing, you will see confusion. You will see confusion in one party from now until the election. Why? That's when you see confusion, just to know that's the team that's they are rejected from God. But we are demanding by the action of the Holy Ghost. Yes. That the one that shall carry the peace of God. Yes. Peace for this nation. Yes. Peace for the people in these nations. Yes. Be the one to rule. Yes. Let the scepter be given to him. Yes. The scepter to rule over these nations. Yes. Let the other side be confused. Yes wrong decisions yeah. foolish decisions yeah. that will bring them down yeah. right now to prayer yeah. attack it in the name of jesus Jesus. I was invited to one of the candidates' house. Was it right after Sunday service? After that Sunday service? I think we went when? Monday or Tuesday. I entered there and as we were in that atmosphere, I told you, I'm seeing monkeys. You know, sometimes prophet will speak in parable. And I told him, I'm seeing monkeys. And these monkeys are jumping to steal certain things. And then after that prophecy I gave, now I came to realize why I told him. We are going to secure all the votes. We are securing all the votes. That's anyone that's mandated by the enemy to enter. To deviate the purpose of God. Let the angel of God fight them. Let the angel of the Lord arrest them. In the name of Jesus. Let the truth of God prevail. By the power of the name of Jesus. As we put our hands together. Pray for me.
Jesus. Raise your hands. Heavenly Father, yes. the God of all power yes. and authorities, yes. we stand here today yes. to decree and declare yes. as the chosen of Elohim yes. that this land shall be ruled yes. by a righteous man. 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 Yes. By righteous man, 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 we arrest the spirits of rebellions. The spirit that rebel against the law of God, the decree of the Lord, the word of the Lord, the spirit of God, we arrest that spirit, we cast it down by the power of the blood of Jesus we superimpose yes. through the victory of the Calvary yes. the victory of the Lord yes. over these elections yes. the victory of the Lord yes. over these elections yes. the victory of the Lord yes. over these elections yes. by the power yes. of the name of Jesus Father, we secure your church. We secure the church in this nation. We secure your people in the blood of Jesus. We declare none shall fall in the pit of Satan. None shall fall in the pit of the wicked. Let your church prevail. Let your church prosper. Let your church increase by the power of the name of Jesus. And let the just see the light of your goodness shower this nation with your favor your love your peace your mercy your life 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 in the name of Jesus if you believe it give Jesus thanks give him praise Give him praise. Give him praise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. By prophetic announcements, I announce to you that God is winning. Because he has already won. So we are walking on the path of the victory of the Calvary. Hey, tell your neighbor, three people, tell them peace, peace, peace. Welcome them, said peace, peace. Tell them peace. Tell them Thank you, Jesus. Put your hands together for the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Can I see your Bible lifted in the air and shake? As victorious. Oh, can you even see the atmosphere has changed? 
there is a clearance in the heavens. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. Say, this is my Bible. Is my Bible. I, shall I shall receive and declare, and declare every prophetic word every that the Lord has brought my way today. And I declare over my life and my family I will never ever ever be the same again. I am blessed with the blessings of Christ in Jesus name. Amen. Congratulations. I want you to read for me the scripture that we touched last time, Ecclesiastes. And then we are going to read Genesis from chapter 9. For you to understand properly the story from 18. From the book of Genesis, chapter 9, from verse 18, and Ecclesiastic, chapter 2, from verse 26. Let's read. The Bible says, To the person who pleases him, God gives wisdom, knowledge, and happiness. But to the sinner, he gives the task of gathering and storing up wealth to hand it over to the one who pleases God. Mm. This too is meaningless and chasing after the wind. Thank God. Genesis and the Bible says the sons of Noah who came out of the ark were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Ham was the father of Cana. It's a father of Cana. Mm-hmm. These were the sons, were the three sons of Noah. And from them came the people who were scattered over the whole earth. Yes. Noah, a man of the soil, proceeded to plant the vineyard. When, the, when, when he drank some of his wine, he became drunk and lay uncovered inside his tent. Hmm. Ham, the father of Canaan, saw his father naked and told his two brothers outside. Mm hmm. But Shem and Japheth took a garment and laid it across their shoulders. Then they walked in backward and covered their father's naked body. Mm -mm. Their faces were turned the other way so that they could not see their father naked. Mm -hmm. When Noah awoke from his wine and found out what his youngest son had done to him, he said, Cast me can the lowest of slaves will he be to his brothers. Cas B. Kana. The lowest of slaves will he be to his brothers. Mm -hmm. He also said, Praise be to the Lord, the God, God of Shem. Mm -hmm. May Kana be, be the slave of Shem. Mm -hmm. my, may God extend Japheth's territory. May Japheth live in the tents of Shem, and may Canaan be the slave of Japheth. Spirit of God, thank you. And have your way in Jesus' name. Amen. Have your seats. God bless you. We had such a powerful conference with the youth. God bless you. It was an amazing moment. We talked quite a lot. 
And please, if you didn't make it next time, you should be there. Because great things are taking place over there. My brothers and sisters, we started talking about something very, very interesting. And through the message that God has been speaking here, men and lives are getting transformed. Are you agreeing with me? The eyes of men are opening up. Progress is taking place. And there is a lifting up. Yes. Realizing and understanding the strategies of Laban and Jacob is more deeper than the explanation that we can just read as a normal letter from the Bible. I just want you to give, you, give me your attention today. We are going to talk some unknown secret over here. This scripture, 27, I want you to put it in amplifier. May God enlarge the land of Japheth and let him dwell. Let him. Now, that's what him, him. You see, NIV made a mistake to call it Japheth. It was not Japheth. It is not Japheth. That's him dwell in the tents of Shem. I'm going to show you the him. It is who. Okay? According to Hebrew interpretations, the real interpretation, which before them to call it Torah, it was called Jubilee. The book of Jubilee. So the book of Jubilee, it explained properly the Old Testament. Okay? And it is one of the book the Ethiopian who was reading when Philip showed himself to him. It's believe it was the Jubilee book. Hallelujah. So just allow us, just let us go deeper in explaining and knowing God in a very high dimension. Amen. Amen. Are you breaking loose of the religion spirit? Yes. Are we moving forward? Do you believe that? Yes. To God be the glory. Yes. Now, why Laban was able to capture Jacob? I showed you the reason why he needed to capture Jacob. Why? Because by divinations, he came to know that he was blessed because of Jacob. Why Jacob, a blessed man, been drawn to such a man who has been cooperating with divinations? Because the scripture has to be fulfilled that the wealth of the wicked must be transferred to the righteous. So it might seem the wicked may rise very fast. They are rising very fast so that you may not labor the way they labored. Because blessings is a spirit which is Christ himself. According to Ephesians chapter 1, verse 1, the Bible says he has blessed us with all blessings in the spiritual realm where Christ dwelleth. So blessing is a spirit and it is a spirit of the Son of God. Now, how did we come along 
and gets into the place that Jacob could carry the blessings. Because today I believe people are walking out here with the blessing and leaving the curse on the cross. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And that blessing is going to cause your star to shine. Amen. Are you ready for that? Yes. Let me see your hands lifted. Say, I'm, I, receive it. I receive it. Now, I showed you another scripture which is in Ecclesiastes chapter 2 verse 26 that the Bible said, the one that is pleasurable in the eyes of God, the Lord gives him wisdom, knowledge, and joy. But yet to the one who is sinner, he gives them the task of gatherings and storing up wealth to hand it over to the one who is pleases to God. Amazing. Are you aware that right now someone is busy working for your storing of your wealth i mean that's what makes life and your heart peaceful that you have hope that someone is overworking so that your wisdom can be satisfied your relationship with god can be pleased by God giving a task to someone who is sinners. This scripture goes together with what took place in the house of Noah. Which I'm going to show you. Noah had three children. But it was not his wish to remit himself in three children. He wanted to continue. Until something happened. The Bible says, Noah came out of the ark. And then when he came out of the ark, he built for himself a vineyard. And in that vineyard, it grew until it started producing wine. And the Bible says something very passing like whew. like Noah came in his tent and clothed himself and his son Ham enters and see the nakedness of his father. And when Noah woke out of his wine not sleep When Noah woke up out of his wine, not sleep. So that's already, there is a difference there. You don't wake up of wine, you wake up out of sleep. So in another one, the Bible is talking to us that when Noah woke up of his ignorance, When someone is drunk, he became ignorant. He's ignorant. And when Adam ate the fruit, he realized. He woke up of the wine. He realized. So in another word, Noah realized. Because he had a news. Okay. I'm going slowly so we can understand. He had a news. Noah had his first son called Shem. Second son called Ham. And the third son called Javet. Shem, the meaning of the name Shem means name. The meaning of ham means hot or warm. In another word, multitude. The one who is giving birth, hot. And the name of Japheth means enlarged. 
That's why Noah, when he blessed Japheth, he said, may your territory enlarge. I pray for you that you shall enlarge. Enlarge. But when they mention the name of Shem, Ham, Japheth, when they reach on Ham, they say, Ham, the father of Cana. Ham, the father of Cana. Ham, the father of Cana. And the Bible says, when they came out of the ark, God blessed Noah and his sons. And his sons. He blessed them. So, Ham was blessed. Japheth was blessed. Shem was blessed. Will you allow me to explain to you what took place? Hmm? When they were blessed, Kana was, let me not touch Kana first. Ham was someone who was very amazing. Why? The name Ham, if you interpret it in Egyptians, as Egyptians, they used to call Ham, in interpretation of it, it means black or bang. Black or bang. You can check it, you'll see it. So in another word, Ham was a black man. Okay? And when Ham his image was showing someone really amazing, prophetic. Um, eh? Someone who is carrying something you can see. But not until the day something happened in the tent of his father's house. What is it? The vineyard signified the place where Noah was cultivating. And if you study it, it is a lot of kilometers from that place to the home of Noah. But the explanation is this. Hear this. Please don't lose. Don't fly. Shem and Japheth were there. But Ham entered and so. The word so, if we bring it out, it is the same word with Genesis chapter 34, verse 2. Genesis 34, verse 2. And the Bible says, when this name is Shisha, son of Amor, the Evite, the ruler of that area, so, ha. So, ha, so, ha. If you read ESV versions, they're going to tell you when he has seen her. Who? The daughter of Jacob. When he has seen her. Now, the word seen, that means the nakedness of, of, Dina. So the word so, that means interactions. Contact. Which caused him to rape her. Okay? Now, let me bring you to understand something here. The Bible says, Ham also, he entered the tent of his father and he saw his father naked. Now, we are children of one father. His father is the one who took care of me. He took care of me. Your father took care of you. What is it of a scandal by surprise that if you enter in the tents and you see, I'm sorry, your father unclothed? Is it a curse? 
Hmm? Talk to me. Is it a curse? Hmm? Is it a curse? Okay, I'm having two groups. <laughs> hmm? Is it a curse? Okay, to African, we'll call it a curse. <laughs> Muzungus, for them it is no more. And there is no curse there. In fact, they do it all the time. Hmm? I will tell you why it became a curse. So, he entered. What he saw. Okay, for you to understand, put the scripture. <laughs> let, me, let me show you first by step. Verse 18. I know now you are feeling, no, you, you want to eat it, amen? Watch. Verse 18, the Bible said, they, no, 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 no. Uh, nine, 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 nine. Nine. 918. Huh? The sons of Noah who came out of the ark were Shem, Ham, Japheth. Ham was the father of Cana. Uh -huh. These were the three sons of Noah. From them came the people who scattered all over, over the earth. Mm -hmm. Now, Noah, a man of the soil, proceeded to plant a vineyard. Mm -hmm. When he drank some of its wine, this seemed like Adam's story and Eve. When he drank, he became what? Drunk. And he laid uncovered. He laid uncovered. He laid uncovered inside his tent. Inside his tent. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Verse 22. And Ham, the father of Cana, saw his father naked and told his brother outside. Again, so, so. That's been sin, sin. You cannot sin, 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 S-E-E-N-J. You cannot sin until, unless it is dinner that you are looking at. Unless it is dinner, the daughter of Jacob you are looking at. Because your father is your father. But if the Bible records, he has seen. So that means he has seen the opposite of the father because he has seen the wife, Mamayake. So Ham so her mother. And something happened. Listen. Let me show. And the Bible says, verse 23. But Shem Japheth took a garment. Took a garment. Took a garment. Cover. Covering. He took a garment and laid it across their shoulder. Carrying news. Carrying news. To who? Then they walked backward. Covered their father's nakedness body. Their face. Turned on the other way. So that they will not see their father's nakedness. Now walk, watch, watch. Straight away. What happened? Verse 24. If I have time, I will explain this next time. When Noah awoke from his wine. Not sleep. Wine. Wine, I told you, is ignorance. When he had the news that took place in his tent and found out, he found out, found out what? What is his youngest son had done, not seen, had done? What is done? I, I, do you have English people here? What is done? Action. With his mother. Let me show you why. 
had done to him. To him. And this has followed Israel. Because Israel borrowed, took harm to himself. That's why Abraham was called Abraham. I'll show you why. I'll show you why. I'll show you why. So, oh dear Lord. So, when it happened, harm for him, he was happy. And he went to tell the news to his brothers to do the same. But his brothers, they refused it. And they went to transport the news. And when Noah had it, he spoke a curse. Over who? Kana. 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 Not harm. Kana. So that means the grandson. Are you listening? Yes. Kana. Let Kana be cast, not harm. Because harm in verse 1, he was blessed when God blessed him. <laughs> you have to touch your head and say, I am blessed. Yes. No curse shall come over me. My children shall never be cast. I speak blessing over them. Because why Noah wanted to continue having children, but Ham came to find the nakedness of his father because the nakedness of your father is his man, his wife. How let me show you another one. This seed followed Israel, whereby you see it in the life of David and Absalom. people are seen here. The Bible says Absalom rebelled against his father and Ahithophel advised him for you to know and for people to approve of your royalty. Go and sleep with the wives of your father. Where? Under the tents. Where? In the tent. In the public. So Absalom saw the nakedness of David. Okay, someone I want to show me another one. Show me another one. And the Bible say, Reuben was cast because he saw the nakedness of Jacob. Because he went out with the second concubine of who? Jacob. There. In the Bible. So this gentleman was not just cast because of anything. He did something. He saw the nakedness. Ham, you are blessed. But your descendants are cast. So in another one, Kana was a son of someone. I don't want to touch on that. When you saw the naked of your mother, who will you give battle? Okay. So let that child be cast. David, you have killed an innocent man. And you have gone with Sheba. And Sheba is pregnant. That child, when he's given birth, is cursed. So curse be canna. Curse be canna. 
And guess what? Kana also had brothers. There were four. One of them, his name was put, put, put it. No, put. 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 Put had no children. Ham had children. Canaan had children. Four of them. Number one, Kush. Number two, Mitzmaras or something. Number three, Put. And number four. There's another name there. I think I forgot it. And guess what? They dispatched themselves. Kush went to Ethiopia. Ham went to Egypt. He's the father of Egypt. Ham sat in Egypt. Kana, instead of him to follow his family, his brother, he doubled the curse. He went in the territory of Shem. Are we now? He went in the territory of Shem, which is where? Asia. And according to the Jubilee book, it says, the family summoned him to say, why do you want to bring that broadcast? Why? I'll interpret for them. Because it is spoken, it shall be the slaves of the slaves. Why will you bring a double curse by going to the territory of Shem and yet us, we are in another territory? And out of the seed of Ham or Kana came Lebanon, Syria, Egypt, Ethiopia, and all this nation. And it also believe this nation that is opposite Israel, that they fight all the time. Afghanistan. Palestine. Palestine, sorry. Yeah, Palestine. All that. Why? Because the Kana, they moved in the land of Shem. Now, it's now interesting. Are we there? Now, Shem as I told you, his, the meaning of his name is name. So he doesn't have a name. You give him a name. So when you are calling Shem, you are calling name. Or another word is renown. Hmm? Hmm? Yes. Uh, no, renown. Renown. Another explanation according to the English is mean renown. Which is not, but the real one is what? Name. So he didn't have a name. And Noah, when he spoke about Shem, he said, let the God bless Shem and let Shem be above. So in another word, God automatically became the God of Shem. He became the God of, of Shem. Now, Shem is land was this place that Kana preceded and settled. Kana so traveled and took his place and sat on that land before Shem to go to his own land and to possess his land. Kana was there. And you can see the Ammonites came out of there. The giants came out of there. Evil came out of there. Because what? They are duplicating the curse. Manifesting the curse. And then the Bible say there was a man called Terah. And Terah gave birth to Abraham. 
Exalted Father. Exalted Father. And God came to Abraham, said to Abraham, came out of your parent house. I am sending you to fulfill the prophecy I prophesied over Shem. That I will be his God. Shem, Abraham is coming to fulfill your prophecy. Because the blessing, when it comes on you, it does not just manifest on you, it manifests on your children. I pray that your productivity shall bring blessings. <laughs> Abraham, he said, I will take you to a land flow with what? Milk and honey. But in that land where there's milk and honey, Kana is there, swallowing. Why? He's a wicked man. I've sent Khan ahead of you to lay by the ground for you. Uh, 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 uh. is laboring, cultivating, producing milk and honey for you. So that when you are coming, you don't have to cultivate the ground. The ground is blessed. I prophesy that you shall not labor but you shall receive the labor of the wicked man. Their wealth, their favor shall come to you. Shall come to you. In the name of <laughs> So in other words, God is watching. He's like, look at these guys running. Let them run. Because there is a saying in my country that they say, <laughs> lies comes on the lift but truth comes on the stairs <laughs> so none of our lies has a way to run faster but the truth takes its time <laughs> i pray that god shall justify you say justifications say again justifications <laughs> and then here brown comes he steps on the all oh, the land of Cana. Watch what he did. When he stepped in that land, the Bible says he did something. He erected the altar. <laughs> Listen, when I told you that's when you are blessed, the first sign you see wicked people start coming next to you. Now you see, when you are blessed the blessing begin to lead you in the place where people who are cast their position there. <laughs> so in another word, when I'm blessed, the blessing begins to search for who is cast and positioning in the place of blessings. So the blessing begins to push you in the place who is cast and is sitting in the politic place. <laughs> who is cast? And he's doing business like serious. And the Lord leads you next to that person. And when he leads you next to that person, do you know what now he's doing? He's checking. He's giving this one a task to gather and collect for the one who is righteous. <laughs> so, Abraham, he entered there as Abraham. But God had to do something to shift, to shift something spiritually. The Bible says, Moses, 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 go, tell my people, I am coming to deliver them out of Egypt. Okay? I'm setting them free. And Moses said, these guys, I can't play them. And he said, I need to tell them what is your name. <laughs> huh? I need to tell them what is your name. God said, oh, I am that I am. So in another word, name me based on your situation. So when I am broke, 
I name you someone who takes someone out of brokenness. When I'm sorrowful, I name you as someone who takes someone out of sorrow. I am that I am. So in another one, the Hebrew, when they asked Moses, what is his name? And Moses answered, the I am. They believed because he doesn't have a name. His name. And straight away they bow. They say the God of Shem has come in Egypt. I God is interesting. Ah, no, 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 no. I pray that God shall change your story today. Ah, Shem is coming out. The I am is coming in your life. Hmm? The name has come. That's why we cast demons by the name. The God of Shem is still moving. Until now, the God of Shem is still around. In the name. The name that is above all names. The God of Shem. <laughs> Let me show you marvelous, more shaking things. 27. Put 27. 9, 27. Amplify. 927 amplify may they may god enlarge the land of japhet and let him the word him there is yahweh <laughs> i'm about to run he <laughs> said let him dwell in the tents of Shem. In another word, they are prophesying the coming of Messiah. That it is Shem that will accommodate Jesus. Hey Noah, Noah! <laughs> and the Bible said, Isa, was that? Anta. And Jacob was a man who liked to dwell in the tent. I, I'm just showing you how it's moving. And Jacob was a man who loved to sit in the tent. He was a calm man. Dwelling in the tent. In another word, they are prophesying. Let him dwell in the tent. So Jacob, dwell in the tent. Because out of you shall come Judah. And out of Judah shall come the Messiah. So Noah was not just a normal man. Noah was a man who saw and gave the decree on how the world will start and how the world will finish. Noah, by that blessing. And watch the amazing thing that took place. That I'll say Africa is blessed. Wait. I'm going to show you that Africa is very blessed. When Abraham entered Kana. God saw. <laughs> mm. Later on, my son, my son, the Messiah, will need a refuge. When Herod will be after him, he need to run to somewhere called Africa. Whereby he would dwell almost for 12 years, the number of the disciples. In the land of Egypt. Why? Because Kana has preceded Shem and is in the land of Shem. So, what am I supposed to do? Moses, your snake has to swallow. The snake of Egyptians. You're missing that. Your snake has to swallow the snake of the Egyptian. So in another word, in the road of Moses, there was the snake of the magician dwelling there. 
So every time he was performing miracles, the road of the magician was still inside. <laughs> so another one, when they do witchcraft against you, their power is working for you. <laughs> when they go to witch doctor and they take your picture, they are promoting you to be famous. Remember, you fight me, I take your oil. Yes. Hey, no, this God is mysterious. When he loves you, he loves you. When he blesses you, he blesses you. I declare, may the Lord bless his people here. He. <laughs> so, when he puts on the river knee like this and blood is coming out, it wasn't just Moses' road there. Even their own road was performing the miracle on the behalf of the goodness of God. That's why you hear me, I'll tell you sometimes Satan will become your servant. You chase it. Whereby now God utilizes him for the benefit of the saint. Hey, Jehovah. Do you know that you are going somewhere? Yeah. Do you know that your life is changing? Yeah. And look at the wisdom of God. Do you know what he did? He said, Abraham, from today, I am entering in covenant with you. And that covenant, <laughs> that you shall be a father of multitude. A father of multitude an exalted father of multitude so i have to put you in association with him so they shall call you abraham abraham so african i mentioned in the name of abraham I know you don't like your skin, but now you love your skin. Amen. Amen. Hey, I know you like Europe and you are saying Europe, America. No, Africa. Ah, shout Africa. This is the land. So God said, I'm putting you in partnership. Because Kana is already in your land. You need to swallow Kana. As Moses up and swallowed. And it became Abraham. We are blessed. Where is the most richest in the world? Wealth, mineral. Where? Where? The biggest oil. The oil, even in Congo, they haven't yet exploded it yet until it started causing disaster in Congo. Gas. Until you enter in the space like this, fire is a lot. When it's sunny, fire a lot because gas is concentrated, it's not exploded. Here in Congo, in the east of Congo, Lake, Lake, whatever. Kivu. It's like this congested, saturated gas. You put fire like this, you are burned. On this, just in the space like this. Until there was news recently, fire is is it's just uh, 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 burning from nowhere. It's just coming out from nowhere, and so they have to search for a way how they can reduce. The amount of gas, but no one is exploiting the gas in Congo. They are all looking at America, Europe, America, Visa, Canada, Parisian. Let them feel me, let them know me. And there are powerful things is dancing. Wallace, there is wealth 
in the ground. Just here in Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe, someone took a stone like this, this speaker, this speaker, and they removed out of it 23 kgs of gold. In Zimbabwe, Africa. This Africa, you say we are cursed. Who cursed? Who is cursed? We are associated with the blessed. It is telling you the Lord saw the future. He saw that before the end to come, before me to return in the world, the ark of revival has to move for Africa. That's why God is searching for men and women in Africa. That they can confirm the blessings of Abraham. Today, M-Pesa is used all over the world through a man in Kenya. There is M-Pesa in Europe, UK, America, but it started in Kenya, Africa. for Wazungu to come to labor for us so we can benefit of their labor <laughs> hmm? Kisumu here Kisumu I've been in Tira Tira which is connected with Uganda and Kenya and this year, Bugoma. Bugoma. Do you know there is gold in Bugoma? Bugoma. Even Busia. I went. And the first thing I saw when I reached there, a flag. A flag of UK. Floating like this. And soldier are there. <laughs> it's like they know where there is wealth. I say, maybe let me move from Bugoma. I go to Busia. Hey, I saw the flag. Australian. Because myself, I was searching to get a land of mining there. <laughs> hmm? I'm telling you. And then they were selling it cheap. 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 But the American also they are there supervising looking at who is smart to block you where are the righteous where are Christian God where are you Baba Yangu Baba Yangu praying without watching Where is the wealth? 
Where is the wealth? <laughs> Where is the wealth? So when I got into this place, hey, Tira, Tira, Dutch border, which causes like this in Kenya. Tira, the wealth that is in Tira, gold. Hey, until they start noticing even diamonds. They took for me there and there. They practiced for me there and there. They burned for me. They removed some grams of gold. There, they break it, break it, and then they burn it for me. I tested it. It was 88%. Here, here. We can take, you go, you go all the time. Right? You go. We shall go to bury people. Thank you. Your place of wealth is a burial place. They are telling you, your mind, it becomes a cemetery. Don't start booking your ticket from now to start going. Because it is not awakened. I think people know their eyes have opened. The only thing that stopped me there, it was machines. Taking machines. Listen, please, I'm not offending you, but watch this. It is believed, and I think Mama just explained to me recently, there is a teacher who is fighting the Kenyan system teaching. I don't know how many have watched that. Why? He said, she said, that the Kenyan system is set to train a child to be a job follower. Hmm? whole Kenyan system the old system uh -huh. the, the new one which is the CBC is worse even this new one the CBC is worse than the old one so they are training your child that's why your child sometimes he becomes you understand and yet that child was so good but he became No, no, no. Let's let, let, let break something here. Yeah. My child was okay, but it seemed like his head became... Is it oppression? Who has brought oppression? And the only thing, look at it. Look at, I'm sorry, but look at every Kenyan. He's working or he's going to school just for one thing, to get a better job. Job. So in another word, the creative ability is hindered. And it's believed in the science that the brain is a muscle place which gets exercised only when the brain begins to think new thoughts. Then they begin to do exercise and expanding. So when they train you to be a proper and a professional slave, your brain is limited. I'm speaking to the church. We need to do something. Ah, your yes is not convincing me. I am standing here. We need to save the next generations. What can we do? But look at her. They are fighting her. They are fighting her. And yet she's doing a better thing. Hey. Look at the British. Look at the American system. They are allowing a child to... But now, you don't have enough money because you're in job. You have to follow the Kenyan system. let the redeem of the Lord shall get his victory. Ah, no. I say there is victory. victory. Even if they hinder you, even if they hinder that child, her star or his star shall shine. Ah, uh, can our parents say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm. Yes, Lord. Mm. 
Sokoto Paladaya. I watched a video of a child whereby the father was questioning about the politics and whatever. Hey, it's a girl. But the face of that girl, the way it's transformed, and she was from school. She became. It's like a child who is traumatized. I felt bad. Listen. It's good we have made you by yabayaba. You know by But now is to bring influence over the nation. There has to be an Esther that will say things must go this way. Mordecai, arise. Come out of being seated on the gates there crying. No, no, no. It's no more time of crying. It's time now to enter the palace. Listen. Hey, why are you worried to be a politician? Enter, be a politician. Become a senator. Become an MP. Become a governor. By this understanding, we are speaking to a nation. Why? To encounter such people in the church is not, they are feeling bars. They are not in church. So, who is the church talking to? God is not called to talk only to jobbers. No. We need to talk to people that are taking control over the country. Hey, do I have a participant here? These people that are doing election, do you know what they're searching for? Number one, people with money. And people of money, they're doing what? What are they saying? Ah, he's churchy, he churchy, he churchy, he churchy, he churchy. Why? What is church now in their eyes? What is church now in their conceptions? Look at how they're fighting church now in the news. The church that grabbing land in the country. Where? And no one is standing as an Elijah to say what? Why? Because jobs. I don't want to lose my job. They are paying me. Hey, yes. We have to bring things in alignment. We have to pray with a system, strategy. Yes, we are praying, but we have a strategy. Do you know why the Muslims are powerful? Huh? Do you know why they are powerful? What's the gate? They put it in their community. Myself, I know one. She has houses. <laughs> Houses. Houses. Mutaiga. Whereby one acre is a billion almost with a house inside. But she has a lot. But she's a Muslim. And you know what she's saying? I am gathering all this so I can leave it to my religion. But look for a Christian who can say that. Just look for one Christian. No, I say just look for one Christian. Who is even saying I'm selling my house to give to the church? Search for one. Why? They don't like one another. They don't like the way they, the place they pray, where they lift their hands. They don't. Power? Is no power without money on the earth. When we talk about the power, the Bible says the power on the apostle became great because men started bringing wealth in their community. Then they became great. Even the anointing of healing became Bluetooth. The Bible says Peter walked like this, a shadow is healing the sick. Why? I'm busy. Money became too much until it became a problem. They have to call seven 
wise men. One of them, Stephen. To do what? To control money. Today in the church, how much reservation do you have? That's why someone might stand right now to hinder all the Christians because he's having support from the Muslim. They're sponsoring serious money. Why don't we love our own church? Why don't we make peace in the place where we pray, we fellowship? Do you know how many churches are renting? I have not seen a mosque yet where they are renting. They are all landlord owners. But do you know how many Christians are in the hotels right now? Hotels! They are in hotels, taking rooms, where people are doing funny things upstairs. They are lifting hands. Hey! May God hear the cry of my heart. What is wrong? Why don't we love where we need them? And hey, why don't we love one another in the place where we fellowship? A Muslim will prefer to give a job to his fellow Muslim than a Christian. But a Christian will give it to another person. Gossip, distractions, hatred. got into a place I feel like I have to sit down I say God come sit down here let's call all Christian yourself now summon them because I don't know the best thing for a Christian that is waiting for now it is heaven and for him to go to heaven he has to say from away from alcohol away from clubbings away from fornication away from those things and away from government because it's a sinful place are you not aware that this world is a sinful place When I see someone speaking in tongues, show me what your tongue is producing. What is it? Speaking of tongue, that means you're receiving inspiration for creativity. Show me your creativity then. Because you are hearing the tongues of spiritual beings directing you which way to go. Listen. If your biggest prayer is to go to Canada, stop praying. Bring your passport. Let's send you to Canada. Stop your fasting. You don't need to fast. Hmm? What are you fasting for? Canada? Why people are jumping out? Oh, you are quiet. Stop that prayer. Why for? What are you looking for? You want to see snow? We'll package it. We'll bring it for you. Mount Kenya, thank you. Mount Kenya, there is snow. I can take you. I can pay for you. Go see snow. <laughs> what is it? You are the producer of the blessings of your land. So surely if the Christian have the God of shame, so that means even if that land is cursed, you are supposed to bring what? The shame in that land.
Eh? Yes. Yes. Kenya is not cars. Yes. Even if he is, you are the one changing it. Amen. How can it be cars and you and I, we are here? Mm. It's impossible. Amen. I know I'm speaking today sensitive things. <laughs> One thing my father blessed me. He said to me, Don't be an echo, be a voice. Amen. Even when I entered, the home of the candidate. Myself, I was shocked on the people that knew me there. I didn't know. But many knew me. With such a knowledge, now bringing that candidate to stand on top and receiving such knowledge to lead the country. No, just tell me. You just tell me. You will hear the advice of the prophet. see the power of God. Yeah. Righteous men and women are going to sit in seats. Amen. To sit in seats. Power is exchanging hand. Oh, yes. But now God has sent me to awaken you that yes, you and I, we are going to sit in power. But now, don't behave like those who are. They came in power and they ate power instead of producing power. So God is calling you and I to prepare you right now. Prepare your brain. Prepare your mind. So that you can be productive when you sit in power. Manifest the glory. Manifest righteousness. Manifest peace. I see people arising. And it's not going to just be in Kenya. I see West Africa. East Africa. It's North Africa. There is something is going to turn around on the powers and people who are sitting in the powers. I'm telling you. Ghana right now, those who are sitting in powers, they are receiving power from the prophet. I'm telling you. Ghana. Ghana. Such grace is coming over this country. Amen. Hallelujah. And I'm praying over every man and woman here that the assignment that God has for you over this land shall come to pass. Amen. It will not be swallowed by jobs, yes. but you shall override the barriers. Yes. You shall run through the troops. Yes. You shall back to Seketabad. You shall break the barriers. You shall leap over the walls. You shall run faster than the horses of your enemies. You shall fly above and manifest the dominion mandates. Shout with me, dominion. Say again, dominion. Say again, dominion. 
I need businessmen and women that are going to take control over this country. Whereby they are going to come and receive the oil in this house and send them to do business and make billions. I am looking for them. That's why I've been training you that job is not your focus. I've been pushing you there. This is the man that why I've been pushing you. Because of where we are going. It doesn't need a job. It needs someone controlling. Papa and Mama, you are not yet done. God has started something with Abraham in the years of 75 years. You are not yet done. You have a mandate to fulfill in this country. You have a mission to do in this country. And you are prohibited to die until you fulfill it. The same way Simon said, the Lord promised me that I will not die until I see the Messiah. I pray that you shall not die until you bring the fulfillment. The fulfillment. The fulfillment. You shall see your sons sitting in powers. You shall see your sons and daughters doing great business. Ah, my God! Arise where you are. Sala parakata palase. Santi katora base. Ah. Ah. There has to be power. Power. And power has come. You are king. Every. Arise up, let light. We are going to declare the kingly anointing of God. Daughter, go and sing for me that song. We are going to declare that kingly anointing, the royalty over this nation. Let his kingdom come. Let his kingdom come. Shut up, Aya. King of glory. Just wanna be Just wanna be with you King of glory Feel this place Just wanna be with you Just wanna be with you Sing it King of glory Feel this nation Just wanna be with you Just wanna be with you King of glory Feel this place Just wanna be with you just wanna be with you. Thank you, Lord. Begin to declare, let the kingdom of God come to cover the whole nations, to cover the city. Declare with me that let his kingdom come, let his kingdom swallow this place. Jesus. 
Dia me. I want us to do this from the bottom of our heart. When we are demanding this, O oh God, let your kingdom rule over this nation. Is a prayer of a relationship between a father and a son or a daughter. So please, this one is a prayer from the bottom of your heart. Let me see intercessors, men that have a burden for these nations, crying right now with our hands lifted to God and telling God, let your kingdom fill these nations. Let your glory spread over these nations. Right now, let the haters to see the prosperity of the Lord in this land, let your glory blow them away. Let your glory fill this place. Just one word from your mouth. Declare it from God. Declare it to God. Yes, 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 yes. Let his kingdom come. Let his glory fill this nation. Let the glory fill the nation. Jesus, our lands lifted in one accord. Yes. Say this with me in Jesus' name. Jesus name. Father, Father, we give unto you Father, this country. This Lord, Jesus, Lord Jesus, we ask you, we ask you your hands, your, hand, your mighty hands, your hands, to touch the youth, to touch the, youth, to touch the children. 
the young children to touch the elders over these nations. Jesus, fill this nation. Jesus, cover this nation. Jesus, let your righteousness prevail over this land in this country. Wipe away wickedness and the wicked. Let your precious blood speak gloriously over this land that the enemy and his angels of evil they shall not prevail over their evil agenda in this nation. We ask you Jesus from today be the Lord over the heavens the earth beneath the earth over the sea and the humans and anything in this nation of Kenya we superimpose the lordship of Jesus over every movement in this nation Jesus Christ be Lord Jesus Christ royalty rule reign over this nation in the name that is above our name the name of Jesus the son of God and we shall praise unto God Thank you, Jesus. I want you to walk to three people. Tell them you are taking possessions. Tell three people you are taking possessions. Say it prophetically that you are taking possessions. You are taking possessions. As we do so, time has come forward quickly. Tivers. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Tivers, come quickly. God bless you. Jesus. Heavenly Father, we give you praise for your righteous people. They are not coming to pay, but they have come to honor you. For it is written in the word of God, give honor to whom honor is due. They are giving honor unto you because your honor is due, Lord. Grant each one of them the grace and the blessings of honor. The same way the 24 elders, they will put down their crowns and the crowns will return back to their head. I pray that they shall receive bigger, greater than the expectations. Expand and enlarge their territory as Japheth's name was, his territory will be enlarged. I prophetically superimpose the grace of God to increase over your life. That the Lord to expand you, may the Lord to prosper you. To cause you to accelerate higher, Amen. gloriously, Amen. and may the Lord favor you Amen. in this land of the living. Yes. You are blessed Amen. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Should we have just a minute? Should we have our giving as well? Your sacrifice, your seed, your offerings. Let's lift it up. 
We are honoring God in our giving. Thank you, Jesus. God has been good to us. Tell your neighbor, God has been good to me. Oh, your neighbor is not believing you. Say, God has been good to me. Look at another one who is stressful. He said, God has been good to me. Hallelujah. Lift your fire. Father, we declare the blessing of the Lord over the givers. Spirit of the living God, may they never lack. May they never lack. I rebuke lack out of their home, out of their finances. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I rebuke lack out of their pro progress, out of their opportunities. I declare lack be arrested and be rebuked out of your home in the name of Jesus. I speak the grace of prosperity. Child of God, prosper. Prosper. I speak prosperity over your hands, the works of your hands. Your home is prosperous. I speak this under the prophetic office of the action of the Lord upon my life. May God take you in the place of prosperity that you shall prosper in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Come and give with joy. Just wanna be with you. Just wanna be with you. This week be your wonderful week ahead. I don't know what God has reserved in place for you, but all I see is greatness. Hold your neighbor. What's going on? Oh, praise God. Wow, this is wonderful. Wonderful. Who want to join also to do the same thing? We want to join and have Jesus in your life as Lord and Savior. You can join us here. We pray together. This is a joy. Wow. I mean, yesterday, some of you did not see what took place here, but it was marvelous. It was marvelous. I mean, maybe one day this man will give a testimony of what God has done in his life. It's amazing. I'm strongly believing that the youth in this nation shall be touched. So, should we do it all of us together as we welcome in the kingdom of God? Are we happy? Thank you. What's your name? Christian. Christian. Woo! <laughs> Christian, we are all praying together with you, okay? Let's do, say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. You, you have to speak it, okay? Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I believe in your name. I believe, I believe that you are the Son of God. That you died for me. Today, I receive, I receive you as my Lord, as my Lord and my Savior. My Savior. I, accept I accept that you died for me died. and you are coming back, are coming back to, rescue to rescue me. Today, Today I, invoke the blood I invoke the blood of Jesus, of Jesus to, wash away to wash away all my sins, all my sins 
and I declare as I believed today I'm born again and I'm a child of God thank you Jesus for my name is written in the book of life I'm born again in Jesus name Amen Wow, put your hands together for the Lord. The, the power of God moved here yesterday. Amazing. People that were doing drugs as young men, they were touched by the power of God. It's amazing. Now imagine such a young man when they are touched, how can they return back in alcohol? It's impossible. Some of them removing tears. Amazing. Now imagine we take this in public that young men are crying out to God in this nation. And I strongly believe you and I, we are going to walk that path very soon. We are touching those youth. We are. So I congratulate you in the name of Jesus. That this week shall surely be a glorious week ahead of you. Let his peace prevail over your home. There shall not be any danger that shall come. There shall not be any disaster. We arrest the disaster of the enemy. We declare that your peace is settled. Amen. Any crookedness that the enemy has set over your path, yes. we declare the crookedness be made straight. Yes. Any mountain that the enemy lifted over this week, yes. until the end of this year, yes. let it be leveled down. Yes. We declare let the valley be exalted yes. and let the mountain be leveled down. Yes. By the power of the name of Jesus, yes. And the place where they spoke a curse over you. Yes. I speak a blessing. Amen. I speak a blessing. Amen. Financial be blessings. Amen. Peace blessings. Amen. Acceleration blessings. Amen. Increase blessings. Amen. Health blessings. Amen. Prosperity blessings. Amen. Let the angel of the Lord watch over our children. Yes. Even as they go to school and return. Yes. Even as they are homes. Yes. Even as they travel, yes. they are covered in the blood of Jesus. We rebuke uh, the serpents, yes. satanic visitations. Yes. We arrest it in the name of Jesus. Yes. We declare yes. the victory of the blood of the Lamb Amen. over our homes Amen. and everything that concerns us. Yes. May the Lord prosper you. Amen. May the Lord expand you. Amen. May the Lord bless you. Amen. May the Lord favor you Amen. in the name of Jesus. I bless you. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Look at your neighbor and say, I see breakthrough. Congratulations. See you next Sunday. Full of joy. Full of peace. Make sure you talk to someone. Don't just walk out like... I talked to you about Christian. Christian. Let's mingle. Hey. To Juwane, let's mingle. That is Christianity. Let us be even better than Muslim. Amen. In mingling. God bless you. Shalom. Shalom.